What's up everybody, my name is Bobby and today I have a little bit different of a video for you guys. So I usually do things like reviewing bags or cases or you know electronics or things of that nature but if you've seen any of my EDC videos you know I'm a really big fan of high quality leather and I decided I wanted to shoot a review of a wallet that I recently picked up. Now this guy is the Ashland Leather Co. Bugs Moran in the natural shell cordovan color. So for those of you who are not familiar with shell cordovan, if you want to learn more about exactly what that means, I'll leave a link to Ashland Leather Co's YouTube channel where they go into really in-depth, you know, explanation of what it is. But essentially it's a really rare, high quality leather. Anything made out of shell cordovan, it has a you know some really unique characteristics. And personally, over time, I think it's one of the best looking leather, you know, styles that I've ever seen. And so I wanted to pick something up in Shell Cordovan. I did a bunch of research on it and that led me to Ashlyn's YouTube channel, which in turn led me to picking this guy up. So as far as my experience with it, the Bugs Moran is one of their kind of signature wallet styles. I like the selection of wallets that Ashlyn Leather has, but I didn't find one that was kind of jumped out at me as the style of wallet I was looking for, to be honest. So this was probably the closest to it um, as far as like my personal preference for it. Now I've been using it for maybe two months. When you first get the wallet, it's definitely a lot lighter and it started to darken up really nicely over time and you're starting to see it kind of like conform to the things that I carry. In order to kind of kickstart the patina for it, I actually did put a little layer of Neat's Foot Oil on it, which I made a whole video about this stuff, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. But anyway, I don't know if you're supposed to use Neat's Foot Oil on this style of leather, but from what I was able to find online, it seemed like it was okay, and I haven't had any problems with it. But essentially, it's kind of like a thin bifold kind of style wallet. And when you crack it open, you actually have a slot for cards right here, a slot for cards right here, and then the same on the opposite side. Now, as you can see, it has that shell cordovan stamp right here in the middle that's kind of peeking through from the other side of this leather flap. I personally, I think this stuff looks cool, but it fades off and honestly, I would prefer to have it just be like kind of like a natural leather look to it as opposed to the people who are diehard wanting the stamp to show off. And then on the inside right here, you're going to see the genuine Horween Shell Cordovan stamp, kind of like embossed in there, which is really nice. And then the Ashland Leather Co. logo and that type of thing over here. One thing that I did notice is on the inside of this wallet, I don't know if it's because of like, you know, lint in my pocket or whatever it may be, but I did notice this area started to wear in kind of a weird way. I don't know how to explain it, but it like almost looks like someone took a little bit of sandpaper or like if there was such a thing as like a sandpaper Q-tip and started to scratch it. I don't know if that's just because of the friction like that. I'm glad it doesn't look like that on the outside because it's not my favorite look, if that makes sense. Maybe if someone from Ashland watches this, they could explain to me what that is, but that is something that I noticed on either side here. As far as the card slots, with any kind of leather good, especially something this nice, it typically starts off pretty rigid, um, and then the more you use it over time, these like card slots will start to be easier to like remove your cards. That is something that I notice, especially if I had like just washed my hands or something and there was, you know, very little friction when I'd be trying to get my card out. It like was, it was a little difficult, but again, I've only been using this for a couple months and in that time I've noticed it start to be easier to get my cards out. So that is something that I thought I would mention, um, you know, give it a little bit of time and it'll break in if you will and start to be easier to open it or take out and put back in and that type of thing as for the craftsmanship honestly this is like a lifetime wallet in my opinion like the way i saw shell cordovan age you know i saw this video they made about like an eight year patina and how the wallet looked from like a natural shell and it looked so unbelievable i had to you know grab that color in particular and really start putting the work in on it and they really stand behind their products. I believe they all have some sort of like lifetime guarantee. So, you know, the whole reason they made that video on the eight year patina was I think some of the seams started to come undone on the guy's wallet who he had purchased from them and he sent it back and they fixed it for him. So 
that's the kind of thing that I wanted to put my money towards. They also have the option to put like your own like monogram on there, like little initials. And so I went ahead and put that on there for me, just because this is something that I see myself having forever. And I just think it's kind of like a nice little extra touch to make it more your own. And I don't know if that's true, but maybe it deters people from stealing it. That's my own personal thought. But yeah, there's really not too much to say about it. It fits, I would say like two to three cards comfortably in each of these slots. And it's kind of the perfect amount. I was also able to kind of like quarter up some cash and I have like, like you know, a bill in here, but I, I wouldn't say this is a cash heavy wallet. If you're the kind of person that carries cash, there's a lot of other options on their site and they have a lot of good stuff that's in this shell cordovan, which is really nice quality and pretty pricey in my opinion. Um, so they have options in shell and then they also have options in just traditional Horween high quality leather. So you can get stuff like this wallet for example is like 225 bucks which is pretty pricey for a wallet. But they have stuff that's like a similar shape in the like you know 70 to 90 dollar range. They have they have a lot of different variety. So if you're interested and you learn more about Shell Cordovan and you're trying to get kind of like a foot in the door with that type of thing, I think Ashland is a great company. A lot of the leather makers that I follow, they have made Shell Cordovan versions of their products, but they're typically in such small batches and they sell out so quickly because it's such a highly demanded leather that I've never been able to get my hands on one. So Ashland is one of the only people that I think is super reputable that typically has this kind of stuff on regular stock. So for me, that's why I went this route and I'm really not disappointed. Another thing to note too is somebody coming from the traditional full grain leather world moving into something that's shell cordovan. I did notice quite a difference in the smell. So, I mean, traditional leather smells a certain way that I absolutely love. I have to say this gives off a definite strong smell that's really nice, but it's super different. So that was something that I wasn't expecting. And honestly, I was like pleasantly surprised. It's different, but it's good. So I just figured I would mention that in case you're like a real stickler for that type of thing. Overall, I had a really good experience with them. Their team is really nice. They've, you know, sent a bunch of emails asking how I like the product and that kind of thing. Um, and they didn't even know I was buying this to shoot a review for it. I, you know, this wasn't sent to me. It wasn't discounted for me or anything like that. I just really enjoyed the videos that they were putting out and wanted to pick something up and do a review of it for myself. But yeah, I look forward to kind of getting more shell pieces as I go. Um, and deeper and deeper into this world. I think if you were interested in one of these and you wanted to see a video that's kind of like unbiased and not by the person who makes it, I was hoping this would be helpful to you. I'm not saying that their videos are bad by any means, but they, they, they are very proud of their products and that comes through very clearly in them. Whereas I wanted to try to provide kind of like a third party perspective on it that's not being influenced by it. And, you know, I, I say it lives up to what they claim. I really do. I think it's a phenomenal product. Um, it is not my favorite design of wallet, but it's the closest to what I personally really am interested in. And overall, I think they do a great job. So I, you know, have no issue picking up stuff from them in the future. And if you were interested, I think it's well worth the money to get yourself a lifetime wallet. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, peace.